Hi and welcome to the Griffin HUD tutorial this time. As I've had a few people asking me how to use it, I thought the easiest way was to make a video for everybody to watch. Now, you've just bought your Griffin, you've put it on by wearing the folder first, then wearing the folder second that it tells you. And the first thing you notice is, is ah, I can't find my main Griffin HUD. You will find it down here because when Dareth made the dragons she doesn't have her chat bar up. So you're going to need to edit this a bit by moving it up, bring your bar back up and move it to where you feel happy with it being placed which will be, for me, is down there. Right, first things first. You want to edit the colours and everything easiest way to do this first get to the folder with the two smiley faces click wings your wings pop out just makes it a little bit easier when editing now go in inventory ignore the mess that is mine but I'll put up the right bit there we are. now you've got griffins you've had the wear this first which you've worn first wear this second obviously you've got your dragon extras, look in there and you'll find a an item that says appearance edit HUD where that is rather large up here on the left just wait for it to load up now usually, because this is my main HUD but usually when you wear it, it starts off on the feathers page, we'll just start you on the feathers now, it will start you off on the textures of each individual feather. So you want to change your texture, so at the minute, as you get it out of the egg, it will be brown. There's one of the guys laughing in the background. Um, so click feather, it will turn orange, as you can see there. Then click a texture you want. So say if you want white with black tips, you click that. It will take a couple of seconds for it all to cover each the little section. Now that feather will cover the feathers round the head, down the neck and on the tips of your legs and the wing joints of your wings. So there's your feathers done. Now we need to point out that if you don't want to change the feather again you have to untick it then click the base the base will be a face, so in this case you wanted a black base or maybe purple that will change your ears, your face your joints here on each leg okay, might be a bit easier if I set the midday, there you go you'll see it a lot better then right, so it's changed these bits here again, unclick there wing will be not your whole wing, but this leading edge either side here like that ok covert is these leading wings here and the feathers there, so you want that your primary and secondary will be all these feathers along here so you've got your primary and your secondary which will also change on the closed wings as well as you can see you don't have to have your wings open for this but it often helps now say if you wanted to change it all in one go you can be bothered to change each individual one there's Sylvia and you want to change everything this is where these little plus and minuses come in handy click plus it will change, highlight everything except for the primaries because obviously they are different textures because it's a different length and size but you've got all the primaries along here click it and it will change it all in one go ok
<laughs> Sylvia running around me here. So it changes it all in one go. As you can see, if you don't unhighlight it properly, that happens. It's the wrong size. So you have to, if you want to unhighlight everything, again, do that. Go into primary and just reset it. <laughs> Tell Sylvia off there. Interruption, hatchies, interruptions. Oh, I don't know. Right, where was I? Now, you've got your colors on there. And you want to change, you get your textures on there, sorry, you want to change your color. Click on there, and you'll get your whole page of colors. You've got your hue, saturation, and lighting, if you want to change the different textures. So I've gone on feathers again, click red, and because I've got primary highlighted as well, we've got the primaries changing colors as well. So you change your colors like that. You can choose anything you want through the several pads. If you pick a color you like, so say if I like that red and I want to keep it, click the arrow, then click. And you've got all these spaces to fill if you want to keep colors for a particular shading that you've got right and you want to remember it. You just click like that, OK? So now you've done your feathers, you want to change something else. So let's go for eyes. Go back to your texture page. There's a page of eyes. Again, highlight, pick, pick a texture, and you'll get what you need. Here you've got your shine. So varying degrees of shine. Full bright on, full bright off. And then your glow. Now, something I need to point out here. No matter what you do, when you press glow, it will glow everything. It's meant to do that. Darius designed it that way. If you're wanting to do little bits like your eyes, to have a bit of a glow on them, you're going to have to do it manually. So yeah, I've got my eyes. So I choose my fur. Again, same as before, you've got your fur. So you can change your fur texture. One thing I need to point out, on the tuft, make sure you only use the tufts that we have here, unless you make one specifically for it. Because if you don't, you do get some freaky things going on. Like that. It just messes the entire tail up. So you have to make sure you go for the tufts like so. Okay. Again, go to the color page, pick a color, and it'll change color. Okay. That's about the same for all of it. You just follow the same premise through every little bit. The only thing that's different is obviously the saddle. You need to be wearing, you need to have the saddle out to edit it. Obviously to res the saddle, you just res one like that and then you can change your saddle straps as you can see okay and that's basically it really for the HUD you've got all your colors and textures in here you've got your load bit here that's if you want to load note cards you've got specially loaded ones put in You'll have to put that in the note in the HUD itself in the note cards, but that's a bit more in depth, and I haven't figured out how to do it yet. So, um, but basically that's it for the HUD. You just go through. If you make any mistakes, don't panic. You can just rehatch one. But that's basically it for the HUD. So hopefully that will help you for what you need to do when you need to edit it all, and we. I look forward to seeing many colourful griffins running around. See you next time!